Chapter 3. The Siren's Call, Sex, Desire, and Infidelity. 3.1 Understanding Sexual Desire. Sexual desire is a fundamental aspect of human experience. It is a basic biological drive similar to hunger or thirst that urges individuals towards sexual activity and intimacy. Despite being natural, sexual desire is complex and influenced by a range of factors including hormonal levels, cultural and societal norms, individual psychological makeup, and interpersonal dynamics. The strength and direction of sexual desire can vary widely among individuals, and it can fluctuate within an individual over time due to varying conditions such as stress, health, and relationship satisfaction. Understanding the biology of sexual desire begins with recognizing the role of hormones, especially testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. In men, testosterone plays a significant role in fueling sexual desire, although it is also present in women and contributes to their sexual drive. Estrogen and progesterone, more dominant in women, influence their sexual interest and receptivity. These hormones can be affected by life events, such as puberty, menopause, pregnancy, and certain medical conditions, which in turn can alter a person's sexual desire levels. Psychological aspects play a critical role in sexual desire. Mental health issues, such as depression and anxiety, can dampen sexual interest. Moreover, an individual's past experiences, including their upbringing and any previous sexual encounters, can shape their current approach to sexual desire. For example, individuals who experienced positive sexual education and communication may feel more comfortable expressing and acting upon their desires. Conversely, those with negative or traumatic sexual experiences might have conflicted or suppressed desires. Cultural and societal influences are also powerful determinants of sexual desire and its expression. Societal norms define what is considered sexually acceptable and dictate the context in which sexual activity should occur, often influencing individual behaviors and expectations. These norms can enforce heterosexual monogamy as a standard, while alternative expressions of sexuality and non-monogamous relationships may be stigmatized, affecting how individuals pursue and fulfill their sexual desires within varying societal constraints. Interpersonal dynamics are fundamental to the manifestation of sexual desire, particularly within romantic relationships. The level of emotional intimacy, communication quality, relationship satisfaction, and mutual respect between partners can all influence sexual attraction and desire. The onset of infidelity can sometimes be linked to a reduction or change in these factors, leading one or both partners to seek sexual fulfillment outside of the relationship to satisfy unmet needs or desires. The evolutionary perspective offers insights into the role of sexual desire in human behavior. From an evolutionary standpoint, the innate drive to procreate can be seen as a prime motivator for sexual activity. This drive has been linked to the desire to spread one's genes and ensure the survival of one's offspring. However, within the human experience, sexual desire is not solely aimed at reproduction. It also serves to create bonds, provide pleasure, and establish social hierarchies. Sexual desire can be unpredictable and not always aligned with personal values and commitments. Situational factors, such as proximity to a potential sexual partner, exposure to sexually explicit material, or even elevated stress levels, can trigger sexual urges irrespective of the strength of a commitment to monogamy. These situations do not absolve individuals from responsibility, but highlight the complexity in managing sexual desires, especially in the context of a committed relationship. Sexual desire is influenced by individual differences such as age, sex, orientation, and personal preferences. Research suggests that sexual desire can decline with age, but this is not a universal rule, and many older adults continue to enjoy an active and fulfilling sex life. Additionally, the diversity in sexual orientation and the spectrum of sexual preferences illustrate that sexual desire does not follow a one-size-fits-all pattern. Infidelity is often discussed in the context of sexual desire, 
focusing on individuals who seek sexual encounters outside their primary relationship. While it is tempting to attribute infidelity solely to uncontrollable sexual urges, it is essential to understand that choices and personal boundaries also play a crucial role. Acts of infidelity involve a series of decisions wherein the individual weighs their desires against potential consequences and their personal code of ethics. Addressing sexual desire discrepancies within relationships can be challenging. It is common for partners to experience different levels or types of sexual desire, and navigating these differences requires open communication and the willingness to compromise. Professional help, such as sex therapy or couples counseling, may be necessary for some to address issues of desire and improve sexual compatibility, thereby reducing the likelihood of infidelity arising from sexual dissatisfaction. Managing sexual desire responsibly requires self-awareness and self-regulation. By understanding one's own patterns of desire, triggers, and ethical boundaries, individuals can make informed decisions about their sexual behavior that align with their values and relationship commitments. This self-management is crucial in preventing infidelity and maintaining the integrity of a committed relationship. In sum, Understanding the nuanced nature of sexual desire and its myriad influences is indispensable for grasping the complex dynamics of infidelity. 3.2 The Psychology Behind Sexual Affairs The human psyche is intricate and multifaceted, especially when it comes to sexual behavior and infidelity. The decision to engage in a sexual affair often stems from a complex interplay of personal, psychological elements rather than a singular motive. Factors such as a person's upbringing, relationship fulfillment, societal values, and biological impulses all contribute to the likelihood of someone having an affair. Understanding the psychology behind sexual affairs is essential to grasp the motivations that lead individuals away from committed relationships and toward illicit encounters. Individual psychological makeup plays a pivotal role in the tendency to stray. People's attachment styles, formed early in life, can influence their behavior in adult romantic relationships. Those with secure attachment styles tend to have healthier, more stable relationships, while those with anxious or avoidant attachment styles may struggle with intimacy and commitment, potentially leading them to seek validation or excitement outside their primary relationship. This search for gratification can lead someone to engage in a sexual affair, often in an attempt to fulfill unmet emotional needs or to escape feelings of insecurity within their committed partnership. At times, a sexual affair can be an unconscious reaction to unresolved conflicts or dissatisfaction within the primary relationship. If individuals feel unappreciated, emotionally disconnected, or physically neglected by their partners, they may be more prone to seek attention from someone new. This behavior reflects a deeper psychological dynamic where the act of pursuing an affair serves as a symbolic gesture to regain a sense of self-worth or to reclaim a lost identity that they feel has been suppressed within their relationship. The influence of societal and cultural contexts cannot be overlooked when considering the psychology behind sexual affairs. Societal expectations regarding monogamy, masculinity, femininity, and sexual norms vary greatly and can exert significant pressure on individuals to either conform to or rebel against these standards. Some may engage in affairs as a form of rebellion against societal constraints, while others may do so in adherence to cultural scripts that, for instance, equate sexual conquests with social status or personal success. Biological impulses are another factor that can drive individuals toward infidelity. Humans, like many other species, have evolved with biological drives related to reproduction and the spread of genetic material. While these primal urges are often mitigated by social and moral considerations in modern society, they can still influence behavior. The human brain's reward system, which releases pleasure-inducing chemicals like dopamine in response to novel stimuli, including new sexual partners, can create a powerful reinforcement mechanism that encourages repeated engagement in extra-relational affairs. The concept of evolutionary psychology provides another lens through which to understand sexual affairs. 
This perspective suggests that certain behavioral tendencies, including those related to mating and reproduction, have been shaped by evolutionary processes to optimize survival and reproductive success. While this certainly does not excuse or justify infidelity, it offers a framework for understanding some of the deep-rooted impulses that may underlie the decision to become involved in an affair. Emotional deprivation is another dimension of the psychology of affairs. When one's emotional necessities are not met within the primary partnership, the allure of an affair often lies in the prospect of finding someone who appears more emotionally available or attuned. The sensation of being understood, valued, and desired can be powerfully enticing. As such, individuals may rationalize their infidelity as a search for emotional connection, even if it is concurrently sexual in nature. For some, the decision to engage in a sexual affair is intricately linked to personal development and self-exploration. People at different stages of life may question their identity, desires, and the trajectory of their relationships. Engaging in an affair might be an attempt to explore different aspects of the self that have been neglected or suppressed. Although this is not a healthy or ethical way to address such questions, it is nonetheless a reality for some individuals who seek self-discovery outside the boundaries of their committed relationships. Power dynamics can also play a central role in the psychology of sexual affairs. Individuals in positions of authority, or those who feel powerless in their life, may seek affairs as a means to exert control or to feel empowered. For those in power, the ability to seduce others can reaffirm their status and influence, while those who feel disempowered may see an affair as a way to assert their autonomy and agency. Regardless of the side of the power spectrum an individual falls on, the interplay between power and sexual relations is a key factor in many instances of infidelity. Finally, the impact of technology and digital communication cannot be ignored when discussing contemporary sexual affairs. The rise of social media, dating apps, and online platforms has revolutionized the way people connect and interact, making it easier to form clandestine relationships. These digital avenues, provide a degree of anonymity and accessibility that traditional forms of communication do not. They can foster emotional and sexual affairs by offering a discrete channel for individuals to express desires and form connections that may not have been possible in the pre-digital age. The psychology behind sexual affairs is complex and cannot be reduced to a single explanation or theory. Each affair is underpinned by a unique combination of personal and interpersonal factors, psychological dynamics, societal influences, and biological drives. Understanding these forces requires a nuanced approach that considers the full spectrum of human behavior and the myriad reasons why individuals might choose to engage in infidelity. While the pursuit of sexual affairs can cause significant harm and the breach of trust is often irreparable, Comprehending the psychological underpinnings can provide valuable insights for those seeking to understand or address the causes and consequences of infidelity. 3.3 Sexual Fantasies, Pornography and Infidelity Sexual fantasies are a normal part of human sexuality. These are often private thoughts or mental images of sexual activities that arouse a person. Fantasies serve various purposes, they can enhance arousal, provide a safe space to explore new ideas or experiences, and offer an escape from reality. While everyone has diverse fantasies, common themes can include reliving past sexual experiences, imagining new partners, or envisioning situations that one finds sexually stimulating. Fantasies do not necessarily indicate dissatisfaction with a current relationship or a desire to cheat. However, the relationship between fantasies and infidelity becomes relevant when fantasies are persistently about someone other than the person's partner, and if they lead to a disconnection from the partner or an increased likelihood of seeking out the fantasy in reality. Pornography, on the other hand, is the depiction of sexual content in books, films, and other media intended to cause sexual arousal. The prevalence of internet pornography has made access to sexually explicit material easier and more private than ever before. 
Some individuals use pornography as a way to indulge in sexual fantasies without engaging in a physical relationship outside of their commitment. Research on pornography and its impact on relationships is mixed. While some studies suggest that viewing pornography might increase marital dissatisfaction and propensity for infidelity, others argue that it can be a safe way to explore sexual desires without engaging in infidelity. Importantly, the context and way in which pornography is used within a relationship determines its impact. When consumed secretly and in excess, it can lead to what is known as cyber infidelity, where one partner feels betrayed by the other's consumption of pornography. Infidelity, defined as the act of being unfaithful to a spouse or other sexual partner, can take on many forms. Infidelity doesn't solely involve physical acts with another person outside of one's commitment, but also encompasses emotional and digital forms such as sexting or engaging in intimate conversations with others online. The act of infidelity itself is complex, stemming from a variety of causes including dissatisfaction, desire for variety, or opportunistic behavior. It's also influenced by individuals' moral values, the degree of mutual satisfaction in the relationship, and external social factors. The discovery of infidelity often leads to a profound sense of betrayal, emotional pain, and can significantly damage the trust and stability of the relationship. The intersection of sexual fantasies, pornography, and infidelity is intricate. Fantasies can act as a precursor to seeking out pornographic material, which in turn may lead to a greater propensity for seeking real-world sexual experiences outside of a committed relationship. However, this progression is not a given for every individual. For some, fantasy and pornography remain isolated behaviors that do not transition into real-world actions. While for others, they are the pathway that ultimately leads to infidelity. It's important to consider that the act of infidelity often begins in the mind even before any physical step is taken. Hence, patterns of thought and consumption of erotica could contribute to the decision to be unfaithful. It's also crucial to address the role of secrecy in the relationship between pornography and infidelity. The clandestine consumption of pornography can create a divide between partners, especially when one is unaware of the other's habits. This secrecy can then breed mistrust when discovered, often causing feelings equivalent to the betrayal of infidelity. Conversely, when couples are open about their use of pornography or even consume it together, it sometimes reinforces their sexual connection and communication. Thus, the role of honesty and transparency in the use of pornography is significant in its relationship to infidelity. Another important aspect to consider is the varied impact of pornography in sexual fantasies based on individual differences. Factors such as personal values, religious beliefs, past experiences, and sexual preferences shape how a person perceives and is affected by these elements. Consequently, what may be harmless or beneficial in one relationship can be destructive or considered infidelitous in another. Understanding and respecting these differences is central to addressing the implications of sexual fantasies and pornography in the context of fidelity. Moreover, the technological advances and the ubiquitous nature of internet porn have created new forms of infidelity. Previously, infidelity predominantly involved in-person interactions. However, contemporary understandings of infidelity now include the sharing of explicit images, engaging in virtual sex acts, or forming emotional connections over digital mediums without physical contact. The definition of infidelity has thus expanded to include these new behaviors, complicating the dynamics of trust and commitment in modern relationships. The discussion around sexual fantasies, pornography, and infidelity inevitably circles back to communication between partners. Open, honest dialogue about sexual desires, including fantasies, and the use of pornography, can foster understanding and mitigate the risk of infidelity. It's important for partners to set boundaries and express what they are comfortable with regarding fantasy and pornography within the relationship. By doing so, 
they can address any underlying issues such as sexual dissatisfaction or the need for increased intimacy, which contribute to the risk of infidelity. In terms of prevention and healing post-infidelity, sexuality education plays a key role. Education focused on understanding the spectrum of sexual desires, the role of pornography, and the impact of infidelity on relationships can be essential. Providing resources and creating spaces for couples to learn and communicate about these topics can strengthen relationships, help navigate conflicts, and repair trust. Professional guidance, such as sex therapy or counseling, can also be beneficial for couples struggling with the aftermath of infidelity or to preemptively address issues related to fantasies and pornography. Addressing sexual fantasies, pornography, and infidelity requires a multifaceted approach that encompasses personal responsibility, mutual trust, and societal attitudes towards sex and monogamy. Cultivating a culture that encourages open discussion of sexual health and fidelity, paired with personal introspection and communication within relationships, is fundamental in managing the complexities of sexual desire and maintaining commitments, clips, and the role they can underscore these new technologies and methods are changing the face of learning. 3.4 Navigating Sexual Dissatisfaction Sexual dissatisfaction is an overarching term that refers to a lack of satisfaction one or both partners may experience during sexual activities. It is important to understand that sexual dissatisfaction can arise from an array of issues, ranging from emotional disconnects to physical incompatibilities or health-related concerns. When addressing sexual dissatisfaction, the first step is often open communication. Partners should engage in honest discussions about their individual needs, desires, preferences, and experiences without placing blame or fostering guilt. It is during these discussions that a couple can identify specific areas of their sexual relationship that need attention. Discreet and non-confrontational language is essential for maintaining a sense of intimacy and understanding. Public conversations or those where third parties can overhear should be avoided to protect the privacy of the relationship and the dignity of both partners. The cause of sexual dissatisfaction is rarely singular. Physical factors like the physiology of arousal, sexual function, and changes in physical health can significantly impact sexual satisfaction. Psychological factors such as stress, body image, and past trauma can also play a role. A comprehensive examination of these contributing elements can require professional assistance from physicians to rule out medical issues and therapists to address emotional and relational facets. Professional guidance can help normalize sex therapy and counseling as a valid and sometimes necessary route to resolving sexual dissatisfaction. It is also important to realize that fluctuations in sexual desire are a normal part of life and can be influenced by external factors like work-related stress, parenting responsibilities, or significant life changes. Addressing sexual dissatisfaction also involves understanding the difference between sexual problems and sexual dissatisfaction. Sexual problems can include conditions like erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, or pain during intercourse, which are often treatable through medical intervention. Sexual dissatisfaction, on the other hand, is generally rooted in the sexual dynamic of the relationship itself. This might include a misalignment in libido, differences in sexual preferences, or a lack of sexual skills and knowledge. The latter can often be remedied with patience and a willingness to learn and explore new techniques or forms of intimacy. Reading material, online courses or workshops can provide a couple with new perspectives and strategies for improving their sexual relationship. Emotional intimacy is invariably intertwined with sexual satisfaction. The development of a strong emotional bond can enhance the sexual experience for both partners. Emotional intimacy can be fostered through activities that encourage closeness, such as regular date nights, shared hobbies, or simply spending quality, undistracted time together. It also involves being attuned to one's partner's emotional state and providing support during times of stress or difficulty. Emotional intelligence, which is the ability to understand and manage one's own emotions, as well as perceive and influence the emotions of others, 
is a critical skill that couples can develop for a healthier relationship, both sexually and emotionally. Developing a satisfying sexual life requires experimentation and personal growth. Couples should take the time to explore what pleasure means for each partner and how they can support one another in achieving satisfaction. This may include trying new sexual positions, introducing sex toys, or exploring different scenarios that can add variety to their sexual experiences. Reinforcing positive sexual interactions and being mindful of the balance of give and take in the bedroom can reduce feelings of pressure or inadequacy that may arise when one partner feels their needs are secondary. Couples often forget the importance of non-sexual touch and its influence on sexual satisfaction. Simple gestures such as holding hands, hugging, or gentle touches throughout the day can create a sense of physical closeness that translates to greater intimacy during sex. Non-sexual touch can reinforce the bond between partners and serve as a reminder of their affection and attraction to one another outside the context of the bedroom. This physical connection is a building block for a satisfying sexual relationship since it lays the foundation for trust and comfort. Negotiating different sexual desires is a complex yet crucial element of addressing sexual dissatisfaction. Partners may vary in their preferences for frequency, duration, and type of sexual activities. Identifying and acknowledging these differences is a key step towards finding a mutually satisfying compromise. It may be helpful for partners to schedule sex to ensure both are prepared and willing to engage, rather than leaving sexual encounters to spontaneous and potentially inconvenient times. Scheduled sex does not diminish spontaneity or desire, rather it can create anticipation and can help ensure both partners' needs are met with thoughtfulness. Sexual dissatisfaction can sometimes be symptomatic of broader relationship issues, such as unresolved conflicts, lack of trust, or waning affection. In these instances, addressing the root causes of relational discord can lead to improvements in the sexual aspect of the relationship. Couples therapy may be beneficial not only for talking through sexual issues, but also to resolve non-sexual relationship problems that indirectly affect sexual satisfaction. Committing to working on the overall health of the relationship tends to have a positive effect on the couple's sex life. Lastly, Self-awareness and self-care are significant components of sexual satisfaction. Each individual must understand their body, their sexual health, and their emotional well-being to communicate their needs effectively and to be receptive to their partner's needs. Personal wellness, including exercise, diet, mindfulness practices, and adequate rest, can enhance sexual performance and satisfaction. Dedicated effort to maintain one's health and vitality can contribute positively to sexual encounters, making them more enjoyable and fulfilling for both partners. In working through sexual dissatisfaction, couples should remain patient and dedicated to the process of growth and discovery. Overcoming such challenges can result in a deeper connection, not just sexually, but in all areas of the partnership. It is often through working through these difficult areas that a relationship matures and strengthens, assuming both partners are willing to engage with the issue honestly and compassionately. The journey towards sexual satisfaction may sometimes be difficult, but with effort and commitment, many couples find that they can emerge with a more satisfying and robust relationship. 3.5 Affairs as a Quest for Identity Affairs often signify deep personal struggle with identity and self-perception, which pushes individuals to engage in behavior that contradicts their established values or the expectations of relationships and society. The pursuit of an affair can stem from an inner conflict or a lack of fulfillment that a person experiences in their life. It may signify a need to reconnect with lost aspects of one's personality or to explore new territories of one's identity that seem inaccessible within the confines of a committed relationship. For some, affairs provide a space where they can express themselves differently, be it sexually, emotionally, or intellectually. Individuals may enter into affairs in a subconscious attempt to resolve an identity crisis or to experience aspects of themselves they feel are suppressed. For some, the routine and responsibilities of a long-term relationship or marriage can lead to a loss of individuality. 
When someone feels like they are becoming a mere role, such as a spouse, parent, or provider, they might seek an external relationship that validates them as desirable, interesting, or valuable as an individual. This external validation can mistakenly be perceived as a crucial element for personal growth or self-discovery. The quest for identity through an affair can also stem from a developmental stage in life known as midlife crisis. This period often causes individuals to reflect deeply on their achievements, goals, and the ways in which they have changed over time. For some, this introspection leads to a craving for change and new experiences that they believe will help them discover or recapture a sense of youth and vitality. An affair might appear to be an escape from the existential anxieties of aging and mortality, where the affair partner becomes a mirror, reflecting a more adventurous or carefree version of themselves. This aspect of infidelity often involves individuals struggling with self-esteem and confidence issues. The affair partner can serve as an affirmation of worth and attractiveness that the person may feel they no longer receive from their partner or through their routine life. The secrecy of the affair may, paradoxically, boost the individual's self-esteem because it involves successfully deceiving others and managing a complex emotional situation, which can make them feel intelligent and cunning. At the same time, affairs as a quest for identity can showcase a person's struggle with their own emotional needs and boundaries. The affair provides a temporary solution to the individual's desire for attention, affection, and connection that they perceive as lacking in their primary relationship. Rather than address these issues within the context of the relationship or through self-reflection and personal development, the individual may use the affair as a misguided path to self-fulfillment. Furthermore, an affair may be used as a coping mechanism for underlying psychological issues. Those with attachment disorders, for instance, may find the emotional risk and uncertainty of an affair less daunting than intimacy within a stable partnership. Engaging in illicit relationships allows them to experience connection without the perceived threat of full vulnerability, which their psyche associates with abandonment or engulfment. Additionally, the affair might reveal a person's struggle with societal and cultural expectations. In societies where monogamy is the norm, an individual's choice to have an affair can reflect a form of rebellion against societal constraints, or it can signify a personal alignment with different values regarding love and partnership. This does not justify the betrayal or the harm caused by an affair, but it points to the complexity of the motivations behind infidelity. Individuals who pursue affairs are often chasing a sense of autonomy and control within their lives. Engaging in an affair can make the individual feel powerful and independent, offering an illusion of reclaiming their life and choices from the perceived dictations of society or their primary relationship. This desire for control, however, is often short-lived and is replaced by the consequences that come with maintaining a deceptive and duplicitous life. The digital age has made affairs as a quest for identity more accessible, but also more complex. Online interactions enable individuals to create personas separate from their real lives, where they can engage in emotional or sexual connections without immediate physical consequences. Virtual platforms and social media facilitate encounters with potential affair partners, simultaneously providing the allure of anonymity and accessibility. The digital frontier allows those questioning their identities to explore them in ways previously unavailable, yet it also multiplies the risks and ramifications of such pursuits. Finally, despite the various reasons individuals may pursue affairs in the quest for identity, it's critical to consider the ramifications of such actions. Betrayal profoundly affects all parties involved, including the unfaithful partner, the spouse or significant other, and other family members, particularly children. The fallout from infidelity can lead to a loss of trust, emotional pain, and potentially the dissolution of relationships. It is imperative for individuals to understand that while the pursuit of self-identity is an important human endeavor, the collateral damage inflicted by affairs can be profound and long-lasting, influencing personal growth and shaping future relationships. 3.6 Impact of Sexual Infidelity on Relationships 
Sexual infidelity is a breach of trust that can inflict deep psychological wounds on the individuals involved and their relationship. When one partner chooses to engage in sexual activities outside of their committed relationship, the effects can be profoundly destabilizing. Discovering an affair can lead to a range of emotional responses from the betrayed partner, including shock, grief, anger, and confusion. These feelings often arise from the shattered assumptions about the security and exclusivity of the relationship. For many, the sexual act itself can be perceived as the ultimate betrayal, calling into question the uniqueness of their intimate bond and their self-worth. The injured party may experience obsessive thoughts and symptoms similar to post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, after uncovering an affair. They may replay details of the infidelity continuously in their mind, seek more information about the affair, or become hyper-vigilant to future betrayals. This mental turmoil is often accompanied by physical symptoms such as changes in sleeping and eating patterns, or an inability to concentrate on daily tasks. The emotional and physiological impact of discovering sexual infidelity can hinder a person's functioning in work and social settings, compounding the distress caused by the affair. Not only does the partner who has been cheated on suffer, the unfaithful partner may also grapple with guilt, shame, and confusion over their choices. They may not fully comprehend the destructive impact of their actions until they witness the hurt they have caused their partner. This realization can lead to a self-assessment, where the unfaithful individual evaluates their personal values, their reasons for engaging in the affair, and the incongruence between their actions and self-image. For some, infidelity becomes a turning point, leading them to make significant changes in their life and character. The dynamic between partners can undergo drastic changes post-infidelity. Communication may break down as the betrayed partner struggles with feelings of anger and betrayal, and the unfaithful partner deals with guilt. Trust, a foundational element of any relationship, erodes, and without trust, vulnerability and true intimacy become difficult to achieve. Both partners may find themselves stuck in a limbo of uncertainty, not knowing whether to leave the relationship or try to repair it. Forgiveness may be on the mind of the betrayed, but it often feels unattainable amidst the turbulence of emotions. On the societal level, infidelity can lead to a shift in how a couple is perceived by their community or social circle. Friends and family who become aware of the betrayal may find themselves taking sides or offering unsolicited advice, further complicating the couple's dynamic. In some cases, this can lead to isolation as the couple withdraws from their support system to avoid judgment or uncomfortable interactions. This isolation can create additional pressure on the relationship, depriving both individuals of the outside support that is often crucial during times of crisis. Children, if present in the relationship, may be indirectly impacted by infidelity. Even if not told explicitly about the affair, Children are often sensitive to changes in their parents' emotional states and may pick up on increased tension and conflicts. Depending on their age and understanding, they may feel destabilized as the secure family unit they relied on seems threatened. Long-term impacts on children can include changes in their attitudes toward relationships and trust, sometimes carrying forward into their adult relationships. Attempts at recovering from an affair involve a long process that can be fraught with challenges and setbacks. The couple may seek therapy to work through their issues, but success is contingent on the willingness of both partners to engage in open, honest communication. There must be a mutual desire to understand the underlying issues that contributed to the infidelity and a commitment to work through them. Healing is not a linear process, and there can be moments of progress and periods of relapse into distrust or resentment. Rebuilding sexual trust can be particularly challenging. The betrayed partner may struggle to re-engage in a sexual relationship with the fear of comparison or reminders of the betrayal. The unfaithful partner may face difficulty reconciling their past actions with a renewed commitment to monogamy. It is crucial for both partners to address the emotional and physical aspects of their sexual relationship to rebuild intimacy. This may involve candid conversations about desires, boundaries, and fears, as well as seeking professional help to navigate the rebuilding of their sexual connection.
Should the relationship survive and overcome the impact of infidelity, it may evolve into a new form. The couple may find that they have a deeper understanding of each other and a more robust ability to communicate and resolve conflicts. However, such positive outcomes are not guaranteed, and some relationships may never recover from the betrayal. In these instances, individuals often choose to end the partnership to seek a new beginning independently or with other partners. The decision to stay together or part ways is deeply personal and influenced by various factors, including individual values, the nature of the affair, and the history of the relationship. When considering the broad-ranging effects of sexual infidelity on relationships, it is evident that its impact is multifaceted and extends far beyond the initial act of betrayal. Recovery is a complex and sensitive process that requires time, patience, and often, professional intervention. Some relationships may emerge stronger, while others may come to an end, each following a unique path influenced by the individuals and circumstances involved. Regardless of the outcome, the process of dealing with infidelity is an intensely personal journey for each person, filled with introspection, learning, and choices about the future. 3.7 Reconciling Desire and Commitment Desire is a potent and profoundly human experience. It can lead to deep connections, transformative experiences, and the reaffirmation of love, but can likewise pose challenges to committed relationships. Individuals often enter relationships with the expectation of monogamy and the belief that desire for others will diminish or remain under control. However, desire outside of a committed relationship can occur for various reasons. Understanding these can be critical in reconciling the tensions between desire and commitment. While desire is not inherently negative, when unaligned with the boundaries of a relationship, it can become a source of conflict. Commitment implies a decision to stay with a partner through the ups and downs of life, and typically entails an expectation of sexual and emotional fidelity. When desire diverges from the commitment to one's partner, cognitive dissonance can arise, leading to feelings of guilt, confusion, or dissatisfaction. To reconcile desire and commitment effectively, open communication is key. Partners may need to express their feelings, expectations, and desires honestly, whilst also being prepared to listen to and understand those of their partner. This process can often illuminate underlying issues within the relationship, such as emotional neglect or unfulfilled needs, which can then be addressed and healed together. Some of the strongest relationships are those where partners have acknowledged their desires candidly and have chosen to work through them as a team. They use these moments as opportunities for growth rather than as indicators of the relationship's failing. Couples can set aside time to discuss their needs and desires regularly. In doing so, they reinforce trust and the bond they share. Every discussion is a chance to reaffirm their commitment to each other and to the mutual respect that underpins their relationship. This conscious effort can help redirect the energy from external desires back into the relationship, often enhancing intimacy. Managing desire within a committed relationship also involves setting clear boundaries. Each couple must establish their own set of rules consistent with their values, understanding, and level of comfort. Boundaries are not a sign of distrust or lack of love, but are a practical tool for safeguarding the relationship. When boundaries are crossed, it is crucial for the involved partners to acknowledge the infringement, express their feelings, and work together to strengthen these limits or adjust them as needed. Individual self-awareness is also a crucial component of balancing desire with commitment. A person fully aware of their patterns of attraction and the triggers that heighten desire can better navigate these feelings when they arise. Understanding one's own motivations for seeking outside affection or excitement can help in redirecting that energy and refocusing on the committed relationship. This type of self-awareness often requires introspection, and sometimes the assistance of a therapist or counselor to fully develop. When an individual succumbs to an external desire, it does not unilaterally signify the end of the committed relationship. However, it creates a critical junction where both partners must decide on their future together. This can be a time of profound reflection for both parties. 
Questions about the nature of the relationship, the reasons behind the infidelity, and the willingness to forgive or rebuild must be addressed. In this process, the primacy of commitment can be re-established, altered, or in some cases dissolved in favor of a new understanding. Therapy often serves as a guided space where partners can unravel the complex interplay between desire and commitment. An experienced therapist helps couples identify patterns, improve communication, and develop strategies to strengthen their relationship. It is through therapy that many couples discover the reasons behind unmet desires and learn how to fulfill them within the confines of their commitment to each other. Restoration from infidelity or breaches in trust requires consistent effort and the willingness to be vulnerable with one's partner. Part of reconciling desire with commitment involves recognizing that desire for another person does not inevitably diminish one's affection or love for a committed partner. Humans are complex, and the capacity to feel for more than one person is inherent in many. Recognizing this complexity can often alleviate guilt and shame, opening avenues for individuals to discuss their feelings without judgment and find constructive paths forward. Lastly, societal and cultural expectations play a significant role in how desire and commitment are perceived. Navigating an individual approach amidst external pressures requires courage and introspection. Each couple must grapple with the dominant cultural narratives and decide if and how these fit into their conception of commitment. This is especially pertinent in a world where representations of monogamy and polyamory abound and definitions of relationships are broadening. Understanding and balancing desire within the context of a committed relationship is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. As individuals grow and evolve, so too do their desires and the ways in which they commit to one another. Couples dedicated to reconciling desire with commitment often find that this journey, while challenging, has the potential to bring about levels of understanding, communication, and intimacy that greatly enrich their relationship. It is through this iterative process that the essence of a resilient and adaptive partnership can be found and nurtured. 3.8 Ethical Considerations in Sexual Exploration Ethical considerations in sexual exploration are paramount, especially when examining the topic within the context of infidelity. The realm of personal relationships and sexual expression comes with a substantial moral weight, considering the potential for hurt and betrayal. When discussing sexual exploration within a monogamous framework, it is essential first to address the expectations that partners have of one another. Open communication forms the bedrock upon which ethical sexual exploration is built. Ideally, before engaging in any act that involves another individual outside of the primary relationship, all parties should be aware of and consent to the terms. This understanding should be explicit and not implied avoiding any misconceptions or ambiguity. In exploring one's sexuality, considerations must be given to the differences between physical desire and emotional attachment. An individual may seek experiences outside of a committed relationship purely for physical gratification, which does not necessitate an emotional bond. However, the ethical implications are not lessened simply because there is no emotional involvement. Infidelity has the potential to damage trust and security within the primary partnership. Partners must evaluate their decisions against the potential harm to their relationship and the well-being of their significant other. This evaluation should be undertaken with a high degree of self-awareness and responsibility for one's actions. Privacy and discretion in sexual exploration are not inherently unethical. However, they become morally problematic when used to conceal actions that violate the explicit or implicit agreements between partners. It is a misconception that if a partner does not discover the infidelity, no harm is done. Ethical behavior requires honesty and integrity, even in the absence of external scrutiny. The secrecy often associated with infidelity can undermine the foundation of trust and respect, which are crucial to the health of any relationship. The concept of consent should be revisited and understood not only within the scope of the individuals engaged in the sexual act, 
but also including the affected partner. Consent is undeniably vital when preventing harm or coercion in sexual relationships. However, in the ethical exploration of desires outside a monogamous relationship, a partner's informed consent to engage in such activities is equally critical. This is an intricate aspect of sexual ethics as it raises questions about ownership of one's body within the dynamics of a relationship and the extent to which one's actions should be circumscribed by a partner's comfort and wishes. In the context of fidelity, sexual autonomy can pose a difficult ethical question. Every individual has the right to seek personal satisfaction and fulfillment. Nevertheless, when one enters into a committed relationship, they agree to certain limitations on this autonomy. The bounds of these limitations should be outlined through mutual agreement, rather than assumed by societal norms. Often problems arise not from the desire to explore, but from a lack of consensus on what is permissible exploration within the partnership. In situations where consent is ambiguous or coerced, sexual exploration becomes unethical. Pressure or manipulation to gain a partner's acquiescence for engaging in activities outside of the relationship is inherently harmful. These tactics can lead to emotional distress, a breakdown in communication, and an erosion of trust. It is essential that all agreements come from a place of mutual understanding and willingness, free from any form of pressure. When ethical considering this, one should also take into account the emotional maturity and vulnerability of all individuals involved. The role of technology in sexual exploration presents a new frontier of ethical considerations. Digital communication and online platforms offer avenues for exploration that can seem detached from real-world consequences. However, even virtual infidelity can cause real anguish and feelings of betrayal. Digital interactions can also create a false sense of security that may encourage actions that one might not take in physical spaces. It is therefore necessary to recognize that ethical sexual behavior extends into digital realms and must be approached with the same seriousness as in-person encounters. Furthermore, when an individual decides to explore sexuality outside a committed relationship, there are potential risks that extend beyond the immediate partnership. Consideration of the emotional and psychological well-being of secondary and tertiary parties is a fundamental part of ethical sexual exploration. When additional parties are involved without full awareness of the context, they too are put at risk of harm. Being transparent about one's circumstances and intentions helps to mitigate these risks, ensuring all parties can provide informed consent. Another facet of ethical sexual exploration involves taking responsibility for the health and safety of all individuals involved. This includes honest communication about sexual health, as well as consistent and thorough prevention practices against sexually transmitted infections STIs. Discussing sexual health can be uncomfortable, but it is an inescapable and necessary part of ethical sexual behavior. Prioritizing the physical health of oneself and others reflects a deeper level of respect and care that is essential in all sexual conduct. Finally, it is worth considering the impact of societal norms and personal ethical beliefs on sexual exploration. Individuals often grapple with the tension between their desires and their values, a struggle that is compounded within a relationship. Individuals and couples must navigate not only personal and relational ethics, but also the often conflicting societal expectations surrounding sexuality. In this process, partners should strive for a personal ethics that respects both their needs and the integrity of their relationships. This may require critical examination of prevailing morality and the courage to establish a private ethic in defiance of public opinion. The overarching principle underpinning ethical considerations in sexual exploration should be the prevention of harm to oneself and others, the promotion of honesty, respect, and consent, and the recognition of personal and societal influences on our understanding of fidelity. 3.9 Healing from Sexual Betrayal Healing from sexual betrayal is a process that necessitates time, patience, and commitment. It is a journey that often begins with the devastating discovery of infidelity, 
and progresses through stages of shock, anger, grief, and eventually acceptance and healing. The first step towards recovery is grappling with the immediate aftermath of betrayal, which usually involves intense emotional turmoil. Individuals may feel they are on an emotional roller coaster, vacillating between sadness, disbelief, and rage. Acknowledging these feelings is crucial as they validate the individual's experience and pave the way for expressing and processing emotions effectively. Professional support is often essential for those dealing with the fallout of sexual betrayal. Therapists specialized in relationship issues and infidelity can provide a safe space for individuals or couples to sort through their emotions, thoughts, and reactions. Counseling can also help betrayed partners understand that their feelings are normal and expected in such circumstances. This type of support aims to offer both short-term coping mechanisms and long-term strategies for emotional recovery and, if desired, relationship repair. The guidance from a professional can help set realistic timelines for the healing process and prevent the setting of unattainable goals that could lead to disappointment or additional stress. For many, healing requires a re-evaluation of the relationship, which may involve dissecting the events that led to the infidelity. This analytical approach allows both partners to understand what may have gone amiss in the relationship. It is not about placing blame, but rather understanding the context in which the betrayal occurred. This understanding does not excuse the infidelity, but can provide insights into relational dynamics that may need to change. Whether the relationship continues or not, comprehending these dynamics can be instrumental in the healing process and in preventing similar issues in future relationships. Communicating about the infidelity is another integral aspect of healing, but it must be done thoughtfully and respectfully. While open and honest communication is vital, it is also necessary to establish boundaries to ensure these conversations are productive rather than destructive. Deciding on specific times to discuss feelings and concerns can help prevent the issue from consuming every aspect of daily life. It may also be prudent to agree on off-limits topics or words that could unnecessarily escalate emotions. This structured approach helps both partners feel heard and understood while minimizing additional harm. Self-care is an essential component of recovery. It includes nurturing one's physical, emotional, and psychological well-being. Engaging in regular exercise, maintaining a healthy diet, getting sufficient sleep, and pursuing enjoyable activities can all contribute to an individual's overall health and ability to cope with stress. Furthermore, investing in one's hobbies, friendships, and career can help rebuild self-esteem and promote independence, which can be especially important if the relationship does not survive. Some individuals find it helpful to explore spiritual or philosophical paths as part of their healing journey. This might involve meditation, attending religious services, or reading inspirational materials. Delving into spirituality or philosophy can offer solace, provide a sense of community, and promote forgiveness, whether it is forgiving the partner who strayed or forgiving oneself for perceived failings. Engaging with one's spirituality or philosophy can create a broader context for understanding suffering and healing. For the betrayed partner, redefining personal boundaries is necessary to establish a sense of safety and trust moving forward. This may include setting clear expectations for transparency and accountability within the relationship if there's an intention to stay together. Re-establishing trust is a slow process that requires consistent and reliable behavior over time. Forming clear boundaries also empowers an individual by reasserting their self-worth and ensuring their needs are respected in the future. Relationships that survive infidelity often go through a rebuilding phase, which requires the efforts of both partners. This entails building a new relationship from the ground up with new rules and understandings. Often, couples will need to relearn how to communicate effectively, show appreciation for one another, and find joy together. This phase can become an opportunity for growth and deepening intimacy if both partners are committed. A relationship post-infidelity may look entirely different from what it was before, but it can become stronger if both partners value the renewed connection and are willing to put in the necessary work. 
Healing from sexual betrayal may also involve addressing sexual health concerns. The partner who was unfaithful must take responsibility for their actions and, if there is any risk of sexually transmitted infections, get tested immediately. Both partners should discuss their sexual health openly and consider medical consultation as necessary. Restoring sexual intimacy in a relationship after infidelity is another challenge. Individuals may feel a range of emotions from fear and disgust to a heightened need for sexual reassurance. This is another area where couples may benefit from professional guidance to navigate these difficult waters with sensitivity and care. For many, the path to healing will lead to forgiveness. Forgiveness, in the context of infidelity, does not mean forgetting or condoning the betrayal. Instead, it is a process of letting go of the burden of resentment and bitterness. It is a decision that may aid the healing process for the betrayed individual without necessarily restoring the relationship. Forgiveness allows moving forward with life in a healthier, more positive manner. It is important to note that forgiveness is a personal journey, and individuals should not feel pressured to forgive before they are ready. Healing from sexual betrayal is unique to each person and their specific situation. Some find solace in individual pursuits, while others require close supportive networks of friends and family. Some will choose to rebuild the relationship wherein the infidelity occurred, while others will decide to end the relationship and seek a new beginning. Regardless of the direction the healing takes, recognizing that it is a non-linear process with ups and downs will help individuals set realistic expectations for themselves and their emotional recovery. The journey of healing from sexual betrayal is undoubtedly difficult, but with time, support, and commitment to oneself, it can lead to a stronger sense of self and the possibility of healthier relationships in the future. 3.10 Healthy Sexual Communication in Relationships Effective and healthy sexual communication in relationships is critical for maintaining intimacy and understanding between partners. It is common to overlook its importance, but the way partners communicate about sex significantly influences the relationship's overall quality. When partners openly discuss their sexual desires, preferences, and boundaries, they cultivate a deeper level of trust and can more easily navigate the complexities of their sexual relationship. To initiate healthy sexual communication, partners must be willing to share their thoughts and feelings without fear of judgment or rejection. This begins with creating a safe space where both individuals feel comfortable expressing their sexual needs. It's essential for each partner to listen actively, acknowledging the other's perspective without interrupting or making assumptions. Demonstrating empathy and validation can help create a bond of trust where candid conversations about sex can occur regularly. Establishing a consistent dialogue about sexual desires and experiences can also prevent misunderstandings and unmet expectations. Partners should regularly check in with each other to discuss what they enjoy and what they may want to try or change in their sexual relationship. It's also important to be open to feedback and willing to negotiate and compromise to ensure both partners' needs are met in a way that is comfortable and fulfilling for both. Having an understanding of each other's sexual history is an element of healthy sexual communication. This is not about dwelling on the past, but rather about understanding how past experiences might influence current sexual desires, aversions, or triggers. By sharing this information, partners can better understand and cater to each other's emotional and sexual well-being, enabling them to engage in a more informed and sensitive manner. Verbal communication is key, but nonverbal cues also play a crucial role in sexual communication. Partners should pay attention to each other's body language, facial expressions, and gestures. This can provide additional insights into their comfort levels and enjoyment. Discrepancies between words and nonverbal signals need to be addressed to maintain an honest and open line of communication. Another aspect of healthy sexual communication involves discussing and practicing consent. Consent is a necessary component of every sexual encounter and it should be clear, enthusiastic, and ongoing. Partners should understand that consent can be withdrawn at any time, 
and this decision should always be respected. A culture of consent within the relationship emphasizes respect and autonomy, which are fundamental to a healthy partnership. Additionally, to foster healthy sexual communication, partners should educate themselves about sexual health and safe practices. This includes understanding their own bodies, the use of contraceptives, the prevention of sexually transmitted infections, STIs, and the importance of regular sexual health checkups. Being informed allows partners to make knowledgeable decisions about their sexual health and to discuss these topics without misinformation or unnecessary fears. In cases where sexual problems arise, such as differences in libido, erectile dysfunction, or any discomfort during sex, it's crucial to communicate these issues honestly. Avoiding blame is important. Instead, focus on addressing the problem as a team. It may be necessary to seek the help of healthcare professionals or therapists who specialize in sexual issues to help navigate and resolve these concerns. Discussing fantasies and role-playing can be part of healthy sexual communication, provided that it is mutually agreeable and respectful. Sharing these intimate thoughts can enhance the sexual experience and deepen the connection between partners. However, there must also be an understanding that not every fantasy needs to be acted upon. What matters is the openness in sharing and the respect for boundaries. In long-term relationships, maintaining sexual communication can prevent the onset of infidelity by reducing the likelihood of unmet sexual needs leading to the search for fulfillment outside the relationship. When partners communicate effectively, they are more aware of each other's evolving needs and can adapt to these changes within the relationship. Regularly revisiting and reevaluating each other's sexual satisfaction can strengthen the bond and keep the sexual aspect of the relationship vibrant and healthy. Healthy sexual communication involves ongoing effort and willingness to engage in difficult conversations. It should be approached with sensitivity and care, understanding that both partners may have different levels of comfort in discussing various topics. By prioritizing communication and cultivating a non-judgmental atmosphere, partners can establish a strong foundation for a fulfilling sexual relationship that contributes positively to their overall bond and emotional connection.